Hey, it's Tab from the camera team, and I've got an exciting new addition to the camera ecosystem today. This is our media expander add-on for Ember cameras. So what this allows you to do is add a removable U.2 SSD, looks like this, this form factor. Really cool thing, this has a USB 4 integrated uh, bus powered reader, so you don't need any type of reader. You just plug this right into your computer and get blazing fast offload speeds. 2.7 gigabytes per second offload speed. So it's about one to one with how fast you can shoot. You can offload at roughly the same same speed you can shoot. Um, but yeah, this so this piece is an add-on, bolts right onto the back of Ember with three bolts like you see here. And then this drive slots in right here. Other nice features of this backpack that we added, uh, SDI, or as I like to call it, round HDMI. I, <laughs> I've taken to calling it round HDMI since we've taken so much crap about HDMI on Ember so far. Just a little inside joke. We're launching with three different variants of these external drives. One is a standard four terabyte drive. It's just a standard TLC drive, which is not the high endurance version. And then we have a, a 2.5 and a 1.28 uh, terabyte PSLC drive, which will enable the pre-record options. The drives weigh about 130 grams. The whole thing weighs about 280 grams. So it's a very lightweight add-on. We've got a Genlock and a timecode output, which I've been instructed to not say anything about. I, don't, I can't talk about any of the future uses that might come for that. So those are just there for fun for now, but could do cool things in the future. Let's demo. I mean, the install is very simple. Just slides in basically it's kind of retained with a good amount of friction so if you if you don't want to use the thumb screw you know from 99 percent of the time when we're shooting here we're not using the thumb screw this slides in seats down you're good to go if you want to grab the footage off eject the drive in the in the uh, camera menu pop it out take it to dit usb4 cable we send a usb4 cable if you're not using a big, fat, nice cable like this, you're not going to get the max speeds. Um, so if you're not getting like, you know, 2.5 gigabytes per second, which is the first time I saw that speed on my MacBook, I was just shocked. I've not seen anything that fast so far. So that was awesome. Makes, makes uh, shooting with Ember so much more fun. Um, and then the other upgrade or update right now is we have anamorphic de-squeeze in the menu. So that's a nice option if you're shooting anamorphic, you can de-squeeze right natively in Ember. Um, we also have a clean feed option via the SDI if you want it, um, which is a nice output or a nice option for people that are doing live or filming rockets and want clean, clean playback, whatever you're doing. Um, we had some Q&A that we solicited that I thought we'd run through. Can I add this to my existing Ember? Yep, it's just an accessory add-on, three bolts, bolted on, um, you're good to go. Uh, do the external SSDs support pre-record? Um, two of them do. There's two PSLC options, which are clear on the website, and then there's one larger capacity TLC option, which is, does not have pre-record. Size and weight, the size is small. It's you know about the size of my hand. It's uh, 280 grams with SSD for the whole thing, uh, 130 grams for just the SSD. Is it 3G, 6G, or 12G SDI? Uh, SDI outputs 12, 1080p, 24, 25, 30. Um, is the SDI clean? It can be, there's an option in the camera menu. Offload speeds, uh, it's 40 gigabit per second, which is two gigabytes per second or more. So two, 2.5, somewhere in that range is very fast. Can I use any media with this or only the media you provide? Um, we don't lock it out in firmware or anything like that. Uh, so you can use any media, but we have only tested from a speed and a power requirements the drives that we're bundling with this. So I would say if you know what you're doing, feel free to experiment with X, Y, and Z drive. But if you don't know what you're doing and you just want something that works, um, use the ones that we've provided. Does it support all frame rates and resolutions of Ember? Yes. Can I buy an Ember with no internal storage if I want to use external media only? No, we still need the internal storage for other camera functions, so every camera will ship with internal media. Can the external media be hot swapped? Yes, camera can remain powered. You just eject it from the menu, swap it out very fast. I have seen in testing people removing it without even ejecting it too, but I don't recommend that. It's an advanced maneuver. Uh, can I mount my existing battery solution to the back of the expander? You sure can. 
The expander carries our same mounting pattern that you would find on the back of a native ember to the back of the expander. So you can just stack sequentially, you know, just put this in and then stack whatever you had previously on the back of ember there. Um, can I copy files between internal and external SSD? Uh, the way we're doing it right now from a power requirement is only one drive is active at a time, so no. Um, maximum record times with external SSDs on S5K and S2.5K. At 5K, you'll get 35 minutes on S5K. At 4K, you'll get 45 minutes. And on S2.5K at max, um, you're going to get 38 minutes or so, and then it kind of goes down from there. All the speeds and everything are published on the website if you really want to figure out exactly how much um, duration and speed you'll get. And then one other thing that I think is cool to mention is these are our ultra tiny SDI cables for Ember, perfect length. Um, we removed the locking portion of the SDI so they can be even lower profile, but you can see they're they allow you to build like ultra, ultra tiny packages because they're barely bigger than the SDI connection. And you can tape over them if you want to retain them without all the big locking ring and stuff. So super, it's a, a weird little niche cable that I love because I love these kind of things. I love very tiny cables, even if they're not as robust so you can build ultra tidy camera packages. I think that's it. I think we're, we're super excited about this. I think it's going to improve the workflow on embers dramatically. Um, I've been doing a ton of drone vibration analysis with S2.5K lately, and it's so nice to just leave the, you know, your analysis camera set up, grab clips, sprint back inside, check the vibration. Is, is the motor resonating? Is the bell resonating? Are the props shaking? Is the leg shaking? Run back out, put the drive back in. And then also just having, you know, just for other use, having a portable drive that's 2.5 gigabytes per second that's bus powered for your laptop is like fantastic. So. I've been loving that. Um, yeah, launching with a small quantity on the web store and then ramping up to have enough for everybody to use in the near future. So thanks everybody for the support on Ember cameras. We got lots more fun stuff coming. Should be more announcements from Ansel soon on all kinds of fun things that he's got cooking. And we're having a party today with a, what's the name of the ham? It's like a cured Spanish ham that Stan ordered, or I ordered after seeing Stan, Stan cut one at the Motion State event. Um, we're having one of those, so Ansel and I are excited to wrap up this video and get to the ham party pretty quickly. So check it out on the web store. Hit us up if you have any questions. Um, yeah, it's great. We're excited to see it out there. Get your media expander today.